Whenever I make these videos, a lot of times I'm thinking, what is the subject? What is the story? How can I share something with you? Maggie, did you find some friends? Hi, guys. Lately, a lot of the videos that I've made, I've received a lot of really valuable, important feedback. You guys are sharing your knowledge and your time with me. And that is not going unnoticed. Hey, duckies, don't go too far back. There's coyotes back here. That's right, go home. This pile right here is where I've been piling up a lot of horse manure. It's turning into compost beautifully behind me. But a lot of it is being scratched out by the chickens too. And they're pushing it away from the pile. Up here in the middle of the pile, you can see it's really nice and completely broken down. That right there, that's good soil. I'm going to have to push the edges of this pile back up on top and maybe turn it over a little bit so I can encourage the rest of that manure to turn into compost. Unfortunately, my back's been hurting a little bit, so I'm not going to get a shovel or a pitchfork and do this by hand. will come along and scratch this back down and in a way they're helping me turn it over I just don't have the physical capability right now to shovel it back in place that's why it's nice to have a little tractor sometimes hey let's go let the cats out today we decided to leave the hens locked up so that we could open the cat door and they won't be intimidated by all those chickens rushing in hey kitty 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 I'm gonna open your door so according to the rescue center where they catch feral cats and rehome them as barn cats you keep them pinned up for four five six weeks whatever it is you feed them you love them you give them water and attention you make them want to stay and then when you release them you just open the door you let them come and go as they please the door's open they may not even go out on their own today but if the doors open and they start getting the feeling that they have that freedom, tomorrow when we open the door again, maybe they'll go out. Doors open, kitty. Doors open, kitty, kitty. This little girl in here came a little late to our party. She hasn't been in this confined area for quite the same number of days or weeks as the other cats. And when she arrived, she looked kind of sick. So we've been separating her and feeding her separately so that she can have a little more fatty foods, put some weight on, and hopefully get more comfortable and healthier. Now, if they do go out today... I hope they come back tonight when we rattle the food can. Let's talk about this eyesore of an area for just a moment. In the middle of this enclosed area, I have a loquat tree. It's hard to recognize it as a loquat tree because Maggie pretty much destroyed it. I put this fence around it because she started nibbling on leaves and I thought it was safe, but she found a way to lean way in and just top that tree almost completely off. I don't like how this looks any more than you do. So we're gonna take it down and see if we can come up with a slightly more attractive solution to surround this area to keep Maggie off these trees.
Yes, Jared, I know these are called line posts for a reason and that they are not meant to be used on corners. So I am going to use T-post on the four corners of this little swale and berm. I know I said that a little sarcastically about Jared. I was just joking. The truth is, Jared and I are buddies and we talk a lot behind the scenes and we kind of razz each other. We joke with each other. So I really do appreciate the feedback, Jared. And this little area will have the T-post as corners. Hey, Luke, you want to push some of these poles in the ground? Yes. Okay. Put one right here. Make sure that the loops are facing toward the outside. Right there. Can you push that in the ground? out of my trees from now on aren't you this is my Maggie selfie come on Maggie pose for me do the duck face there's a snake in my boot that looks much better than that yellow plastic barrier that was there before this wire over here had to be far enough from this tree that Maggie couldn't lean in and nibble on it you can see that she nibbled so hard and so far down that she tore up the bark, took off all the main branches, pretty much took out all the leaves. The tree's not dead, but she definitely changed the shape of it. If this were an electrified fence, I couldn't use these metal T-posts like this unless I had the insulators that go over the T-posts so that that wire doesn't ground out on the metal post. I'll find another purpose for this piece of material somewhere else at another time. Well, there you go. That's a few simple, lightweight projects. Let's check on the cats. Are they still in here? Hey, kitty, kitty. All four of them still lounging. I guess it's just a lazy Sunday afternoon. They're not ready to leave yet. It was nice to take advantage of this lazy Sunday afternoon for me with some lightweight projects. On days like this, when my back hurts, I don't wanna not do anything. So I just go out and do a few things that I can do and not tweak the back. Let's go check on the orchard. Let's see how the chickens are doing up there. Hey guys, you guys are doing a great job in here. Eating all the seeds and all the grass. That's looking much better in there. Thank you. Thanks for joining me once again on the Daddy Curbs Farm. I truly do love the interaction and the engagement that goes on in the comments below. I look forward to seeing each one of you on Saturday morning at 9 a.m. I have now done two official live streams. I'm looking forward to making that a regular Saturday morning routine. Hey, it was great having you here today. I'll talk to you soon. Don't let me scare you. I'm just a guy with a camera. I'm looking forward to making that a regular Saturday. Ugh.